I guess first thing I'll sort of, um, from my point of view, tell the story of um, the documentary we attempted to do and the documentary we're making. Yeah, we, we came to this island with a lot of, just a lot, a lot of energy and different types of energy, and we were able to all combine it and use it to what was gonna, we thought would turn out to be this awesome film. We had a brainstorming session uh, yesterday, and. I uh, started throwing around ideas for the content of the documentary and because it's such a small island that we're filming on, we decided to document a local personality and the one in mind, um, this man, uh, lives a fairly alternative lifestyle. We thought it would be a really great character and we started doing some research about him and we went on this trek looking for him. Um. We asked a bunch of people if we'd seen him, and um, most of the people that we asked seemed pretty enthusiastic about us doing a documentary about him. I thought it was pretty cool. Um, and as with everybody, there was that group of people who, <clears throat> well, I don't know, who thought he was rather crazy, and maybe not the best choice for a documentary subject. We ended up meeting more people who lived alternative lifestyles, and they were a lot easier to find than this man. And yet at the end of the day, after hours and hours of um, searching and finding a lot of other leads, we still decided to follow through with this man. And um, on hindsight, I'd say it's probably because he was still unknown. And, um, his whole illusion was sort of gathering around him, whereas the other people were real. Well, personally, I thought the more I heard about him, the more I wanted to meet him, the more I wanted to see what he looked like. And uh, I think, to me, all this hype about him kind of built up this, uh, this uh, expectation of seeing him. And I heard that he sang and he danced, and I thought, man, if he can kind of do it and still live and sing and dance, then I want to be a part of that. And so I kind of romanticized about singing with him and maybe dancing. And I uh, heard he was kind of a wanderer, and I could picture myself like wandering down the road. To me, this person represented everything about <clears throat> utter freedom. He wasn't tied to a job, he wasn't tied to a schedule, he didn't have to answer to anybody if he didn't want to. It was as simple as that, and I think that's, I think that's completely beautiful. And we questioned whether we'd find him at all, and what our expectations were, and I think mine was a lot of just a projection of my own romantic notions about a transitory lifestyle. So we went down and we did the first interview and we heard that the character was in fact round and uh, it was really neat because we never, we didn't even know what he looked like. Bam, we found out that we couldn't do the story. And he didn't want to be documented. Didn't like that idea. Said thank you but no thanks. He didn't want a documentary made on his life. Um, <clears throat> he told us that uh, he didn't personally feel that his, he, in his life he'd accomplished anything worth making a movie about, and uh, therefore he wouldn't feel proud about anything he made. Or and uh, I guess it's 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 a respectable viewpoint. I mean, 
I can I can totally understand um, his reasons for wanting to retain anonymity. And I'm not sure the reasons. There was a few kind of um, like that um, we'd be making a mockery of him and his lifestyle. And he didn't seem really happy about the way he was living. And I think I assumed that that he would. That if someone were going to live that way, they would choose to, and it would be an inten intentional. And I think again, that's totally just my lack of ability to like face up, real up to reality. That and we were going to give this uh, all the respect in our movie to him. Uh, something I would have thought about uh, in retrospect was, will he really want to have these people talk to him and? Uh, People did say, oh yeah, I'm sure he'd be you know, good for it, but on the other hand, would we want someone doing a piece about us, you know, not really knowing who these people were, not knowing what they were going to do with it, having really no control about what they said about you later, and no control on the final projects. The lifestyle of this, he's not this hero that, uh, that won that million dollars, or he's a movie star, or a TV star, he's just this guy who like, just lives but wanders around and goes and just lives his life. And th at the same time, oh, it, it wasn't too much of a surprise that he didn't come with us because and he didn't want it to be in our film because this is the life he lives and he doesn't want to be a hero. And for the same reasons that we had made him a hero to ourselves. So I guess the question is, what do we do now? We were sort of thrust into this ethical situation about whether or not we should continue to make the documentary about him and, and or whether we should do something else. And Instead of changing pace and doing something completely new and having to start over, we've decided to maintain the energy and go with our past experience and uh, start filming ourselves and our responses to this. We have to at least come out with something. I guess the only thing we can really come out with is ourselves, and after all, that's all really life is. It wasn't like a... I was mostly worried that we weren't going to get anything done, and that the thing we were going to do was going to suck horribly and I'd be embarrassed by it. Our group has stayed together, and there hasn't been a lot of conflict except as a group in regards to the way this project has turned out. Um, it was a big blow when he didn't want to do it, but we didn't seem to get mad about it. We just uh, changed. And kept going in a way. So here we are. And I think that's why we kept doing the piece even after. He doesn't want it. He doesn't want to be in it. And that's what's interesting. Whether you come in trying to change things or you come in just trying to exist. All you can offer anybody is yourself. Um, that's what we're here for. This person represented everything about <clears throat> utter freedom concerning uh, cut, fuck, ants, crawling legs.